Hi YouTube, welcome to ME Academy Python for Penetration Testers tutorial series. Now in the previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to create a simple script to change or to spoof your MAC address. Now in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to improve upon this code by using variables. Now I didn't want to create one long tutorial to make a complete script, which is why I am breaking this script into several parts and I will teach each part in a separate tutorial so that you guys could easily follow it. So let's get started. Now my script was in documents, Mac changer. So this was my previous tutorial, Mac changer 01. So the first line, your specifying the Python's location, then we are importing the subprocess module, and then we are running these commands. Now, in this tutorial, I will use variables to replace uh, the interface name and the MAC address. So how do we do this? Let's make a copy of it, and let's name it MacChangers02. So let's open it. Now in here, first let's create two variables and let's name them interface. And for the interface name, for now being, we will be using with the ETH0 interface. So let's say ETH0. And for the MAC address, so it's a, let's call it a new MAC. And for the MAC address, let's say it is 0011222 and then uh, let's say one 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 so three ones or should I say six ones now after that let's print a statement and the print a statement let's say we are saying that uh, change changing the MAC address of interface and then the name of the interface and then we are saying changing the MAC address of interface interface to and then the name of the new inter uh, new MAC address which was the variable uh, new MAC so what it will do is it will print changing the MAC address of interface interface to new MAC so if we comment out these lines save it and let's change the mode of this Mac changer 02 and let's run it so Mac changer 02 so in here you can see that we are getting the message that says changing the Mac address of interface so this Ethernet 0 this is what we specified inside the variable and this is the new Mac address so again uh, let's modify this more now let's use these new variables that we have created inside the sub process calls or when we are running the commands so one was this place ETH0 so we are removing it instead let's uh, first close it and then in here it is interface and the same in here instead of specifying that um, let's say interface and this for the new MAC address in here let's type the new MAC address and for this one as well so what I'm doing in here is that I'm saying ifconfig and then I'm using the interface name which is ethernet0 and then I'm using down so it will take down the interface then I'm saying ifconfig 
then the interface which is this one in here again eth0 and then i will be running this hw iter command and then the new mac which is this 001122 and this now at the end i'm saying if config interface and then up so it will bring down the bring up the interface so let's save it right now if i type in if config eth0 so currently my mac address is this in here this is my mac address now if i run it the second script that we created you can see that it says changing the mac address of inter interface eth0 to 001122 and then 111111 now if i do if config eth0 so in here you can see that my mac address has changed to 001122 and then six ones previously this was my mac address now this is my mac address so this is how you can use variables open this so this is how you can use variables uh, inside your code to improve upon your code and uh, now uh, this is it for this one guys in the next tutorial i will show you guys how to prompt the user for the interface name and the mac address and this is um, how I will keep adding more and more to this script. So this was the second tutorial. In the third tutorial, I will show you how to ask the user or how to prompt the user for interface name and MAC address. And um, after that, I will keep uh, adding some more modules to it, like the parser module, etc. So this is it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, feel free to put them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.